Here it is snowing here again in Morton, East Lewis County. We've still got 10 inches of snow on the ground and it's been snowing all day. Only a couple of inches of accumulation today, I guess. Around town, there are plow drifts everywhere. Many are six feet and taller. Those plow drifts are pretty irritating, I should say. Wow. But that, that needs a little bit of perspective because if you're sitting at home and you watch it and you go, wow, Morton is buried. I want to talk about Morton for a second. Okay. Let's talk about it, Darren. The most important thing about Morton, it's a thousand feet in elevation. Oh. Okay. So they are just as you start to work your way up into the Cascades down in Lewis County. Yeah. And at a thousand feet, you should be expecting snow overnight with this system. The majority of us are not nearly that high. Let me show you what this looks like on the radar. And first of all, there's the wide view. But if we come in for a close-up look, where is Morton? Morton's down here. Take that drive along Highway 12. Morton sits right at about 1,000 feet. You can see they're right on the line, in fact, for where this rain is turning to snow at this point. But overnight, the snow level is going to get lower, and it'll start creeping down Highway 2. It'll start creeping down I-90. It'll start creeping down Highway 2 as well, up around Stevens Pass. And I want to talk specifically about who should expect the possibility for low elevation snow, because Morton, we know you're in it. But for the rest of us, Right now we're seeing scattered showers in and around much of the sound. But I want to highlight the area for the lower elevations that might be more likely to see some snow. And the areas shaded in blue here, that's the convergence zone. And this would be the area most likely between 4 o'clock to this coming morning through noon that we could potentially see some snow. It is not a guarantee. But if we are going to see low elevation snow tonight into tomorrow, and it's possible, wouldn't be much, most likely it's going to happen here. And the reason why the convergence zone would be the most likely place to get it, first let's see why we call this a convergence zone. It's because the winds are coming together. Right now they're not converging. You're looking at the streamline showing you the winds all moving from the south. Watch what happens by the time we get to 6.30 tomorrow morning. We've got some wind coming down from the north. We've got some wind coming up from the south. Where they meet, they are converging. That's your convergence zone. Where they converge, they have nowhere to go but up. And when you force air up, that's when interesting things happen. You start to build bigger clouds. Those bigger clouds are able to pull colder air down from higher elevations in the atmosphere and throw that cold air down onto the ground and lower the snow level. So when we say it will be possible to snow in the convergence zone, that's the reason why that is. And if we look at how we get a convergence zone in the first place, we've got to go in the big picture. All the winds coming in from the west, it's splitting around the Olympics. And where it comes back together again, that's your convergence zone. And that's usually right here at that King and Snohomish County line. All right, as far as where we could expect snow tonight for the lower elevations. We're not really forecasting a whole lot of accumulation here. It's possible for the morning commute, but not very likely. More likely here, look at North Bend getting about an inch, maybe even a little more for North Bend. And then if we go further north, I think from Everett northward, you likely will have cold enough air and the conditions come together in just the right way that late tonight into tomorrow morning, we could end up with maybe a tenth, two tenths, three tenths, maybe a half an inch at most for Everett. So it, it's not a forecast for a major impact, but it's something that I want you to just keep in mind as you go to sleep tonight, particularly north of the King County line, that you might have to deal with some snow. And should that convergence zone come together, then maybe we get a little light snow reaching the ground. All right, that covers tomorrow, and that's the excitement for Wednesday first half of the day. There's another system coming in Friday. Saturday and Sunday. We're going to watch all three of those days. Same story. Not a major snow event, but yeah, we need to talk about the possibility we could still see a few flurries around here any one of those three days. And then we'll start to clear things out going into early next week. Our February continues, guys. It is a challenging time to be a meteorologist with snow levels all over the place. I'll see you with more later.